welcome back. And I say welcome back because we have just spent the last half an hour playing through the first mission to only have everything crash. So, welcome back. We are playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, as mentioned before, if you're keeping up with Twitch and such, I'm going to be trying to play games that I haven't played before, and I think I might throw in some games that I've played in the past, like uh, games like Halo, doing the campaign and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to do YouTube series on those as a form of content. Uh, we are going to try and play through the campaign of Star Wars Battlefront 2, which was free on the Epic Store a few weeks ago. I was told to get it because it's really fun, and I can say that it is really fun. I have played through the first few missions of the game just to kind of get a hold for it, and there's, I think, like three or four missions that are all... Um, pilot ones, so it's kind of hard to do that on a mouse and keyboard, so I figured I'm just going to play it all on the controller. Now, I hope this doesn't crash again. If it starts to look like it's going to crash, I'm going to cut it, and then we're going to just piece videos together, because we crashed right at the end of the first mission, and I was not happy, because we had just spent all that time talking about stuff, to now have to talk about it again. So, without further ado, we're going to play single player, campaign, main story, and we are going to go to restart the campaign. Again! Uh, I discovered, or I discussed it in the first video that I'm going to do it on Explorer because I'd like to actually get through it. I played it on Soldier, and I died a lot of times. I want to do it on Explorer, like I said, just to get through it. If I get better at this game as I go, I'll probably move it over to Soldier so that there's a little bit more challenge to it. However... I would like to do more content inside of the video as opposed to more video of me dying. If you want to watch a video of me dying, check me out on Twitch, the Leaky Valve, and you can watch me die a lot in Warzone. Because that's what we're playing right now, and that's all I seem to do is die. Maybe like one or two kills, but like lots of dying. Let's get into it. Now this video, was this, this, this loading screen took a while last time. So, here's what's going to happen. We're going to go to YouTube. Quick little switcheroni. This is what we're on. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. For those of you who don't know, my name is The Leaky Valve. I've been streaming on Twitch since 2017, and I've been on YouTube since, I think, 2014 doing Moto Vlogs. Um, trying to do more stuff towards gaming now. Uh, like I said before, these series are going to be uh, games that I haven't played before, or games that are old and kind of like nostalgic to me. Uh, so hopefully, this one doesn't crash. Hopefully, we get through at least like the first mission of a bit. If I could record an hour's worth of gameplay, and then I stop, and then we do another one and stop, that would be perfect, because then we could stitch stuff together, or even if it's a half hour, whatever. I know you can't see that, but it says, A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, we are into the game. Don't glitch out, don't glitch out, don't glitch out, don't glitch out. Invincible Faith, I said invisible last time. Pretty dumb. Captain, she's highly trained. Deception, infiltration, extraction. She's special forces. I'm gonna do my best to try not to talk during these, so if I'm quiet during these uh, cutscenes where people are talking, I'm doing it for you. Longest eyelashes I've ever seen. Hide in Versio. Inferno Squad. Commander Versio. You must be important. Look at me. So let's talk facts. That's what I'm here for. You have the activation code. I've got the ability to help you out. Just give me the code. You know we can really use someone like you. Just help me and I'll help you. It's that easy. I'm gonna get what I want eventually. My best technicians are slicing into your droid right now. Take on my offer. All I want is the code.
The Empire's time has come. And we don't have to go down with it. You're right. The Empire's time has come. All right, I'm just gonna say it. The boy's got some big teeth. Didn't notice that the first time, but he's got some big ass teeth. VZ six two six. What have we here? An ID ten tactical droid. You were way more advanced than the ID nine. So I say maybe you is not gonna be easy. Might I suggest a less invasive procedure? Wish I could, but we don't have the droid's access code. Might I Captain's working on that in the detention center. Until then, the only way to access this droid's data is to pry the memory core out of its shell. And that would be sure to kill ID-10 has been modified with an electro shock cell. Which can't do anything if the droid is deactivated. Until it hears the access code, this ID-10 can't do a thing. Looks like I've been activated. Alright, so now that we've gone through this and done it once already, are you kidding me? It's the first one you go to? I went to this one the second time last time. Crew, we have an enemy That's not there we go. Now that we've found you, we can go through the... Use the ventilation system to reach me. Events? Okay. This is, uh, this is a little stressful, because now I know that we're going back, we're, we're up and going again. I don't want to have it crash one more time. Not happening. Not gonna be happy about it if we crash again. I did change the actual settings on it so that it's running on like medium settings right now. So hopefully it runs a little bit smoother. I've changed all my OBS settings so that I'm not looking at it because I feel like that's one of those dumb little duplicating things that it's like if you've got you have your OBS open and you've had the display on one screen and then you're playing on the other, it's like the game tries to it tries to read the same amount of frames, even though you've got it set to like 60 or 30 on your OBS. Right? It still wants to read the over 60 frames that you're running on your game as what it's supposed to be putting out. So I found that when streaming, that's an issue. So I've turned it off, so I have nothing to look at. I am currently on the YouTube channel, which means that everybody should be seeing what I'm seeing. And now we're going to zerp someone. I wish there was like an up down button like instead of having to look up to fly up and look down to fly down i wish i could just like i don't know click on a stick and it just like brings me up and down a little bit easier don't be suspicious so as i was kind of saying I'm the Leaky Valve. If you haven't been to the channel before, welcome. I'm trying to pick it up. Um, like I said, I'm streaming on Twitch. I stream on Twitch Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 7 to 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, I know it's a little bit late, but that's kind of all. That's that's the time I can allot for myself. Um, weekends, if I can get on, I'll try and stream a little bit here and there. Um, but I don't. I don't usually like to take too much time to stream on weekends. If I'm going to go on weekends, I'm try I'm going to try and get actual content. I'm going to try and go and play Warzone and get some kills. Try and make some nice plays. This guy's having an issue. Contact me when it's done. Um, and yeah, I'm like I said, I'm going to play games that I haven't played before on YouTube. Playing lots of Warzone on Twitch. If you ever drop by and there's holy god there's a guy there and you ever see something that you want me to try and play feel free to leave it in the comments i have no problem trying to play games that people like to see or want to see i love playing new games like we're doing with this one this guy's gonna get shocked Zerp. oh man this is getting this. that was that was too easy guys that was too easy compared to the last time that we did that we died like twice way too easy Let's go. Talk to the droid like it's a person, because I am a person. Person droid. Game still actually looks really good running on medium settings, though. I will say this much. Right on time. Let's go. 
it was a little bit weird jumping into this game for the first time and realizing that you're not playing as someone from the rebellion. You're playing as someone from. Oh, here we go. Glitchy, glitchy, glitchy. I'm moving to the communication center. Copy that. Once I've located and destroyed the stolen Imperial message, I will signal for extraction. Anyway, kind of weird jumping into this game and playing as someone from the Empire. And you're trying to escape. You're locked up until after Endor. After that, we'll figure out what to do. Got you. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I'm pretty sure this guy was different last time. Because your head did not look like it was two heads. My dude. I kind of looks like a nutsack. I'm not going to lie. Sorry. Ah, good bad, good bad. Oh, man. Nutsack head. Would have raised too many questions. Poor guy. Work, we need to be subtle. I understand, Commander. Moving the invincible face. By now, you are aware of the beacon directing Orion's ships to the Galan system. With this bruise, we will get the rebels still think we don't know about Sullust. <laughs> they have no idea what's waiting for. Alright, me again. Let's go. Give me a little give me a little peepee. -pee. If the rebels decrypt that transmission before I delete it. Alright, so we are gonna go into first person mode. For the majority of the game, if you can, you can switch to third by pressing down on the D-pad and then down again, flips you back and forth. You press and hold it, puts you in the first-person mode. There we go. We're going live. more people here last time than you. Little droid. Alright then. Do I have to do something to me? No, I don't think so. So I'm playing on Explorer simply because in the later stages of the game, I would like to be able to find stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to worry too much about, uh, you know, running around getting killed. Get it. Age task. It's time. Beginning preparations. I'll secure a blaster and reach the extraction point. I'm on the move. So is the Corvus. So this game very much wants you to hit headshots. Can I like switch my weapon? Scanning shock. I can't even switch my weapon, I just have this thing now. And I have been bad. I've been playing nothing but mouse and keyboard for the past, I don't know, seven or eight months. So coming back to a controller in any capacity has been uh, difficult to say the least. No, don't kill him. Yeah, you did. That's where you go. Oh my god, I'm a potato. I'm a potato shooter. Trying to blast a galaxy. Pretty bad at shooting things, and I don't know what's gonna make me good. I'm from the Empire, I'm just much understood. I knew you would. Shoot doors to avoid people coming to you. Haha, that one too. There's gotta be like an achievement for shooting all the doors or something. 
Um, how many? Sh okay, you got your little helmet on, I guess so, hey. Let me where they at. Ooh, that was a crispy one. This game really rewards you for headshots. And I like it. Even though I suck at it, I like it. Pretty sure there was a box in here for me to get on this thing. And I got that already. There was another one I missed back there, but I'm pretty sure I got it. Wish I would have grabbed it anyways to show you guys where it is. Don't know where I'm going. Hello. Show me threat. Let's go this way. Oh, hello. Ooh, I did not know that you could blow that up. Is there anything in here? I don't think so. This game has a really cool reload system. So, if we fire our gun... All the way. Right, we have the chance to reload. Blue is instant reload. And if you go yellow, you basically get two full clips worth of shooting. So you can keep firing, 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 and then you don't have to reload. As fast, anyways. Can I get an eye on this guy so I can shock him, please? Slice this door, crack my nose, and now I have to hold this door. Oh baby, we're snapping today. We're snapping. Excuse me? There we go. Get me out of here. So we're getting close to where we crashed last time, boys and girls. Children of all ages. Maybe not all ages, because I kind of swear a lot. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Got him. All right, those shots were so much closer, so much closer than that. Commander on deck. At ease. Mission accomplished, Commander. Zero casualties. Looks like you're still second in command. Oh, I'm patient. I can wait. Agent Miko, those jump calculations were perfect. Thank you, ma'am. Hope the landing wasn't too rough. Been through worse. Remember the job S incursion? Still haunts my dreams. Contact the Admiral. Yes, Commander. And the message? The fleet's location is still safe. The day the rebellion died. Let's go, Star Wars! Dum 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 some time later, do I not? That's a really big ship. Than expected. There's 
Right, we did it. We got through the first part, boys. Understood, Commander. All right, sorry for the weird cut. I had to turn down some of the volume a little bit. It looks like it's a little bit louder than the microphone. Hopefully, this is a little bit better. I do not want to go back, so I apologize if the audio in the first 15, 20 minutes is too. So, let's go take down this guy. And then let's go to here. Supply crate so you can customize items loadout. Alright, so, this game is kind of cool. It gives you abilities on your left, right bumper, and sometimes instead of using those abilities, you can have actual passive traits. You can change the gun to whatever we want i don't know what i want to use i kind of don't mind the gun that i had before this one cooling power isn't as good range is a little bit better rate of fire is a little bit better damage is not as good that one fires a bunch this one does that this one i don't know we're just gonna keep the gun we got i don't mind it equip cards we have one card available and that card is vanguard killstreak and this replaces the pulse cannon an incredibly powerful long range rifle utilizing the frame of an a uh, uh, the frame assembly of a DLT 20A well scoped with shots of charged maximum. So, you, I don't want that. So, all it is is like just a charged shot. Not a big fan. Doesn't really do too much for us. So, we'll leave the scan. We'll, oh, what is this? This replaces it? Yeah, we want the Vanguard Kill Streak because it gives us a shotgun. The shotgun is what we do want because the shotgun's actually pretty powerful. I think I'm always going to try and keep the grenade. I'll probably keep the scan. And then that one on the right side will probably be the one that we change around. Improvised version of a Vanguard that replenishes your active tie when you defeat an enemy so as you're killing people with the shotgun pretty sure it keeps rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling that's all we're gonna do for now We've got one guy with me and we're gonna dump on this guy I kind of want to go loud but I kind of want to be a little bit more sneaky. How are they on to us? How are they on to us? I absolutely zerp those guys. Three shots, three kills. What's the deal? Alright. Now. Now we're going loud. Threat analysis. Try to scoop around. More rebels. Wait for my team. Yeah, we are sneaky today. I'm trying to get to a better spot. It seems like I always put myself in a bad position doing this. how the time kind of reloads. Scan ahead. Well, don't stand there, you dummy. Oh, yeah, the fire kind of burns you. Oh, no. Fire kind of burns. We're aiming for the head. We're getting better at shooting aims. ahead. Oh no, boys, run! Things are kind of, these guys are kind of relentless, I'm not gonna lie. Like, they hit hard. I do like that it, that it shows yellow when you've actually killed That's someone, too. Eliminated someone, sorry. 
All right, regroup. What do you got? We're regrouping. I'm regrouped. I'm burning. Regroup. We should too. We're near platform four. Is there a shuttle there? No, TIE fighters only. Even better. We should move carefully. We don't know how many rebels are out here. No, no, we'll deal with them the same as the rest. Today we wipe out that scum once and for all. Yeah, if you've watched any of the Star Wars movies, absolute Easter egg, funny thing coming right up. It is so good. So good, it's so funny. Look alive, agents. We can grieve later. Right now, we need to move. Thank you, Commander. We need to reach Platform 4 and secure those TIE fighters. That's our only way back to the Corvus. Agent Miko, scout ahead. Yes, Commander. Agent Hask, contact the Eviscerator. I need to speak with the Admiral. Yes, Commander. Passing you through now. Good. Overlook something again. Granted. I know we're alone, Iden, but that that sound is treasonous. Look to the sky, Hask. It's not treason if it's the truth. Someone made a boo boo. So that happening kind of gives you a little bit of an indication as to where we are within the actual hey, series so itself. Some help you guys are. Alright, so if you haven't picked up on any of the foreshadowing yet, then you gotta pay attention to that, uh, pay attention to them, uh, them subtitles in that text and stuff. A little bit of foreshadowing, a little bit of foreshadowing. System reminds me of Call, Call of Duty, Gears of War, and it's so simple. Looking for enemies. That didn't hit him. Did we get this guy. Finally. These guys don't just relentless. I can get shot twice and I'm down to half health. Uh, yes, please. That's all of them. Time to keep moving. We weren't expecting special forces. That's the point, Sergeant. All the same, we're in your debt, Commander. We keep moving now? Moving on up. Commander, I'm hearing reports of enemy transports landing across Endor. They're deploying troops all over this moon. We won't be here much longer. Commander, look. We're 
avoiding people, we're all good. We're okay. Officers. Officers make their abilities more effective. Oh, what a weird way to read those sentences. I can deploy defensive turrets. Prioritize enemy officers when musty blade. Scan. I think they come up Be as, yeah, to something a little different. They did set up a turret. Yeah, let's give him a rocket launcher. Let's give him, let's give him some smoke. Oh, baby, don't die. Oh, baby, don't die. Not yet. Can't die yet. I'm a potato. I shoot the potatoes. Yo. We're done here. Roll up, baby. What's your position? I've rallied a squad near the platform. Waiting on you and Agent Hatch. Oh, it reloads over time. Okay, cool. On our way. Agent Miko, situation report. Commander, Rebels have seized platform four. It's going to be a fight to take back. Looks like you're ready for it. Trooper, we're going to take back that platform and evacuate this moon. Alright, so this is a little bit more of like a DMR kind of sniper sort of thing. Alright, let's see what we can do. Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. Hopefully everybody's staying safe. Had to get tested the other day. Wasn't feeling too good. Came back negative. I'm gonna try collat this. Collateral? Ah, that doesn't count. Show me threat. Oh my god, who's a potato? I'm a potato. That armor's too strong for blaster. This gun's pretty nice though, I don't mind it. You just... Ooh. Oh yeah. Uh grenade. I have to use the rocket launcher. Oh, yo! Excuse me. I can't remember if grenades do anything. Show me threat. Yeah, they do. A little bit. Not enough, though. Any minute now. Oh, can I zap you it? If I zap it, and then I shoot it, I don't know how much more damage it does. I'm not sure not doing so much either. Did you get it? This is actually kind of... Does it do stuff? Okay. Okay, we might need to change that ADS sensitivity. That is super low. Okay. Quick ADS. It's in controller sensitivity, starfighter response, hit dead said no 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 no. Maybe is it up here actually? Zoom no oh, zoom sensitivity, let's go like 0.7 instead. Oh well, that's that's kinda fast, but whatever. We'll deal with it. We're alright. Only got one gun, kinda sucks. Jump. Rebels neutralized. The platform is ours. Get to the lift. Meet me at the top to secure those ties. Here. Oh, like I was saying, I hope, I hope everybody's having a good day. Hope you're having fantastic weeks and that everybody's staying safe. I know this is difficult times. Contact on the platform. Enemy forces are sabotaging our ships and preventing an escape. Take them down and secure the TIE fighters for our escape. Suppress and extract. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, you're freaking me out, Hass. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I can bring you some kind of kind of fun and it seems like 
even though we have, uh... Even though we've changed the sensitivity, I am still potato. It's funny how they try and hide behind walls. Oh, what a shot. Let's go. Agent Miko, that's your TIE fighter. I'll cover you until you escape. No, what is looking now. at me? I first in, last out. Come up here. I feel like there's a lot of guys who spawn at the end. I'm right behind you. You don't do nothing, my guy. Okay, okay. Focus up. Blackies, let's go! Oh. Like, can you decide if you want to crouch down or if you want to just, like, stay up? You have to really lead shots in this game. Like, it's actually a lot more than just aim and shoot. The, the bullet drop time, even for... Even for just these regular guns, is actually pretty crazy. Shooting guys at, like, 100 meters and under, like, it's you still got a lead most of your shots. It's pretty nuts. I don't know. I don't know why, but we get to go fly this thing now. And I'll tell you what. That wasn't possible on the mouse keyboard, because I suck. This makes me want to try and play squadrons. Now this, probably one of the most ingenious ways to create a... So, the way that we do the actual combat, super ingenious, the way that they've developed like the aim system, Commander, where it actually teaches you. The Corvus was damaged by the Death Star explosion. Engines are down, but the crew is making repairs. Get the rendezvous coordinates from the Admiral. Uh, it actually teaches you where to shoot to like lead your shots and stuff like that. You'll see it when we actually get into a little bit of a fight here. And if you hit any of these things, you die. Like, you die quick it's it's there's no joke it's you touch one of these little thingies in the air and you're done so you see what i mean <laughs> but like like with your character, you get little abilities you get to use. Afterburner makes you zip away. The laser barrage is like a quick shoo, shoo, shoo kind of thing. And then the heat sink, uh, primary weapon can auto heat for a certain period of time. So it'd be like you're using it, you get into the end, you press the heat sink, and you use it. All right. Oh, we're kind of close. Any of them Imperial? Not many. I'm not flying through there again. Destroyed. What about the Admiral Star Destroyer? Kind of ingenious. Your left stick controls your, uh, I want to say your roll. Yeah, yeah, your roll. And then your right stick you just use to look everywhere. So if we go bank, go sides. Oh, hello. Engine half, we're approaching the Corvus. What's the status on the engine? 
I apologize if this gets a little busy. It is kind of crazy when you're out here like, looking at the screen. Alright, so you'll see there'll be little triangles in front of the people you're trying to shoot at. And that's where you need to, yeah, you see that little circle? That's where you need to aim. And as long as you keep it on there, you're hitting your shots. Kind of interesting. Love it. I think it's so ingenious how this system works. <gasps> oh my god. We have the rendezvous coordinates, but the crew needs time to repair the engines. We can make time. Agent Miko, let's take out these bombers. Pick someone to aim at, my guy. Hit anything, just find the guy and shoot him. There you are. This is probably one of my favorite aspects of always playing this game. Squadrons looks really good, but I feel like people will just absolutely make me look like a dummy. I have to try it out though. Then eventually you kind of you kind of get the picture as to how far ahead you gotta aim. And you can get a little bit better with it for aiming at the guys that are a little bit further away. I think it's fun. I, I really enjoy this aspect of this game. And there's quite a bit of this in the first few parts, so we get to see a lot of this. Engines are operational, Commander. Perfect timing. Agent Miko, get to the Corbin. I'm right behind you. Commander Versio, order your ship to retreat. Then join me on the Aventurator. Sir? Classified orders, Commander. I think this is where I gotta go. Inferno Squad, the Admiral and I will rendezvous with you later. Understood, Commander. Thank you. Oh, guess not. I'll just be on the mission. See ya! Everything seems to be running fine. At least a little bit better now. That's good. It's progress. I enjoy it. Coffee guy. Ship, man, that ship's huge. You wish to see me, sir? Approach. The Emperor is dead. So what happens now? We return, Commander. The Empire will assault the very foundation of the Rebels' pathetic belief in themselves. Tell me, I knew. What is the source of their belief? Oh. Correct. This messenger's presence is a great honor, one I choose to share with my daughter. Cinder is the last command of our Emperor, and the first step in securing our future. Inferno is crucial to its success. What's our target, sir? You are not verified. That Jeez. information can wait. For now, for your next assignment, they are unusual. But these are unusual times. Go, Commander. Do what you do best.
she don't like it. If she don't like it, then I don't like it. Not a Lego one bit. Not one bit. In preparation for Operation Cinder, we've been ordered to the Fondor shipyards. Agent Hatch, you and I will retrieve experimental satellites for the Star Destroyer Dauntless and oversee security for Moth Race. Agent Nico, do you have the Corvus? Again, ships absolutely massive. Like, what is going Mark, on here? We secure the satellites. Good work, Agent. Moff Ray, this inform the Admiral that Operation Cinder could proceed as planned. I was going to stop it there, but it looks like we're into it. Move to intercept that enemy Corvette. On your position. Corvette, Corvette. Give me something to shoot at. Give me something actually to shoot at. Destroyers. Uh, oh man. Shot at. I'm getting shot at. This is not good. Uh, what is this? Whoa! Blazers, get out of here! What do we gotta shoot? Be doing Agent Hatch. Don't shoot me too much. Leave me alone. What does this one do? Oh, this is super speed. Pew. Oh, this is super speed. This is so cool. Them already. Oh, pause. Wipe my nose. Oh! I don't like being sick, guys. Guys, girls. Go all the team. Defend. I'm defending you. Oh no! I'm gonna try my best to. If I'm gonna get killed, I'm gonna get killed by something. I'm not getting killed by flying into something like I have in the past, traditionally. I'm in. There he is. Oh, oh boys. Oh boys. I can't shake this fighter. Yeah, because you suck. You're clear, Agent Hap. Thanks for the assist, Commander. It's time to take out those Rebel Ion cannons. You are clear, Commander. Get to that hangar. I'm boarding the enemy ship. Agent Hap, join me inside when I give the order. Until then, cover the dawn. Oh, yeah, this part was really yes, good.
Because I don't know what all to shoot. Do I just need to shoot these things? I think so. Okay, I got in. Yeah, I screwed this up last time. And I just sat there and got killed. Oh, now I have new things. Alright, so what do we got? This shock thing? Okay, it's kind of like an EMP, I guess. Shock in time. See what this does. Hey guys. Show me a scan. So much people. Oh, that's a. Uh, oh, what's this? Slice it, please. What are we doing? Oh, is this gonna open it for me and I can get in? Yes, 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 yes. Come on, please, please. Oh. Just show me that there's a lot of people in there. Oh, excuse me. I have to use him a little bit more often. Agent okay. Hask, I've cleared a path through the ship. Regroup in the weapons bay. Copy that. I'm on my way to you now. I think that's why you keep it close. Ooh, okay, we're dying here. Sure, yeah, we want this. All day. Come on, I'm here. Keep me covered. Once that cooling cell is exposed, I'm going to destroy it. That'll shut down these cannons for good. I really should have thrown a grenade on. Oh, baby. This thing runs out of ammo real quick. Is this thing even doing anything? Oh, I can detonate it. I guess we both. Uh huh. I like it. I dig it. I can dig it. Come on. Oh, droids doing something. I don't think I'm gonna slice. Uh, let's try this. Detonate. Ooh. Oh, hello. No. Oh, uh -huh. and that shocked everybody. Are you all right? Never better. Second cell is all yours, Commander. Slice it up. Slicing. Can't deploy. Why? This thing doesn't do a lot of damage, but it fires really fast, which is nice. This like might be the gun to use in multiplayer, because it just like cuts through people. It has this cool way down sight thing. Oh, that's all it is, it's just a bolt press. That's bigger. There we go. Cool! Let's go! Two down. I have an idea for the last one. What are you? What is this? 
pick gun? I don't want it. No biggie, like you didn't just get slapped in the back going board knows how fast. Gotta get this done. Destroy the control source, keeping me in place. Sir, my orders are to protect the satellite, not attack an Imperial station. Do not question my authority, Commander Mercio. Attack the station, protect the satellites. Those are your new orders. Yes, sir. Alright, let's let's do like some Agent actual half. like runs here. Attack run on the Fondor station's control tower. We can also disengage the clamps if we destroy the docking arm. Those are our power sources. Destroy rebel fighters. Do, 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 do. You know, if we can disable their cruiser, we can learn quite a bit from our enemy. The rebels have nothing to teach us. If we adopt their weakness, we fail. Quite right, Agent Hask. Order cannot exist until we bring the galaxy to submission. Excellent. The satellites are one step closer to safety. Where will we deploy these satellites, sir? Stop wasting time on questions, Commander. Release my ship. Gonna get it this time. The Dauntless is free. Alright, we did it. Oh, itchy. I think she feels otherwise. The satellites for Operation Cinder have been delivered to Admiral Versio. Our next mission is equally important. Inferno has clearance to access one of the Emperor's classified observatories buried on the planet Pilio. It contains dangerous artifacts our enemies could use against the galaxy. The observatory is protected by a mantle defense system. Agent Miko, we need your technical expertise to disable it. Take what you need for an expedition, locate and destroy the observatory. All right. So once we land, I think we're going to wrap things up. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I will 
catch you guys on the next one where we will be well wow just can't even speak today. where will we be continuing where we will be continuing star wars battlefront 2 is that r2 what's r2 boys let's go if the empire's luke what i sensed was true there must be something special about this place See here, R2. Scanners probably spotted us. Oh, we get to play with I just can't get too excited. I've already seen that we get to play with them. It's pretty sick. Let's go. Oh, my God. Okay, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I can't even, like, turn around to make them face you. So we're going to go like this and look at the, look at the waterfalls. Okay. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Have a great day. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.